Welcome everybody to Wall Street Reporters Next Super Stock live stream, December 1, 2021. We are back with ESC Entertainment, ENTEF over the counter, ESC in Canada, uh, esports, one of our most exciting stocks. Uh, it was already as up, I think, 17x. I think we've got another chance for another 10 bagger minimum out of this. There's another, a, another, a double 10 bagger coming up. Uh, for anybody brand new watching this, maybe anybody watching this video later, is our goal is to bring you those stocks which have that 10x to 100x upside potential. Companies going after massive multi-billion dollar market opportunities, you know, big sectors uh, with multiple catalysts in place uh, and at, at a key inflection point right now in the growth cycle. Of course, ESE. Uh, is, is, is when we first when you first debuted, you know, ESC had hit all three, and now it's even the story keeps getting better. So, Conrad, congratulations! Today is really, I mean, a major game changer. I don't, I mean, you know, uh, this is really a, a game, a, a transformative day. Uh, it's 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 almost like uh, Joe Biden told uh, Obama, "This is a big effing deal, right?" You know, that <laughs> when they passed that health care, whatever it is, for the American, you know, they don't know, but that was a big announcement. So. So now this is really a huge deal, huge, huge deal for ESC. It's transformative game. I mean, today's news should really be setting this stock to five bucks. I don't know why it hasn't moved. I think this short selling, but okay, let, let's get right into this. You announced the, the closing of closing. This is not an LOI, it's a closing. Yeah, it's a definitive agreement with Game Attic. I mean, if you're not entertained, like, are you kidding me? We just doubled our revenue at an additional four plus million EBITDA. I mean, read the news release, guys. This is massive. Uh, this is a transformational moment in our company. Uh, and I can't wait to explain some more, but the okay. team is fired up, man. I'm telling so you. This, okay, so, so, okay, so Game Attic, and we're going to talk about what they do. But okay, the big thing is Game Attic, $24 million revenues almost five million dollars in income so this is accretive this is like immediate immediately accretive um this takes you to i think 55 60 million dollar run rate uh and you know I, I i'd like to kind of remind everybody watching this anybody who maybe uh, before seen this before is when you first came on our program i mean in january you were saying hey my goal is to get this to step one 100 million revenue this is going to be a billion dollar company at that time you had less than Two million revenues. Now, eleven months later, ten months later, you're at sixty million dollar run rate. So you're you're basically on track, and I, I, you might even get to that hundred million. We got a month to go. We got twenty nine days left, thirty days left. We you, you, and and you never know what could happen. So <laughs> I, I think it's I, I think it's pretty clear. You don't bet against uh, my team. Uh, we are executing at the highest level zero to call it 50 60 million run rate uh this is unprecedented uh on the venture exchange in canada uh this is an unprecedented accomplishment by the entire team and guess what there's still 29 more days left in the month and we're not stopping like i said i've refilled the pipeline there's a hundred plus million and still in the pipeline of revenues for m a's uh, and we're going to be setting new targets in 2022 because that 100 million is going to get knocked down real fast but i gotta say i mean before we, you know you know we were talking about you're know, getting to 100 and again 100 when you get to the 100 million run rate the company's worth 10x in the esports space so right now right now with what you have based on this run right now the thing should be you know 600 750 maybe even legitimate legitimately ESC should be a billion dollar market cap right now and it could be justified based on the velocity of how fast you went from Two million to this 55 60 million i mean the market pays for speed right so like again it's almost like you know like that uh, gladiator thing are you not entertained i mean <laughs> what is, what is, i mean the more uh, is shocking to me i mean you know the, this is like the market was entertained by eglx right I mean, eglx kind of in the and actually what you're doing is you know it's kind of the, the just the other side of the coin i mean they're focused on the media side you're focused on the almost like the picks and shovels side of esports, and the esports business relies on what you're doing, especially with with this uh, with this game addict business. We're going to get into all the details. I know people have a lot of questions. 
We're going to get to all the questions on that, but it's, it's this is incredible. So, right, I mean, how many shares right now do you, after this deal, how many shares will you have outstanding? When, after this, you know, anticipated, bit, anticipated still under 75 million. Once again, unprecedented 75 million shares out with a 50 to 60 million run rate. I mean, we're going to be, it's, I don't know what other words. Two mean, times but, revenues, basically. Yeah. You're trying to get two times, four, you know, two times revenues. So this means, you know, wait, wait. So, so 100 million, you really, I mean, the stock could, leg, legitimately could be 10 bucks Canadian, minimum 10, $12 Canadian. Uh, you know, it's not crazy. This is like right there. It's built in. It's like, I mean, if you just like went to sleep for the next year, the stock would be $12 because, you know, the, 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 earn, the revenues would kick in with this new deal and everything. It's amazing. Okay, Conrad, let's let's get into the the details. Enough about. I don't want people to say I'm just hyping stocks here. Uh, well, you're, you, but the difference is, guys, uh, you're now stating facts. These are facts. I put out the news. Uh, it got approved. Uh, these are facts now. These are real numbers. I've said it from the beginning. I'm executing. There's a very common theme that's happening here. I'm coming on the show, I'm stating something and I'm executing it over and over and over again. This is the fourth time now in one year and it's gonna continue. The trend's not gonna change. A lot of people say, you know, what about timing and what about timing the market? We create our own timing. We're gonna build a real business and we're gonna get paid for it. And that's, that's the way we run our business. And when you're confident in your company and your business, and now we're headed right towards profitability, you know, I'll wait the extra month or two for you guys to wake up, uh, for shareholders to wake up. But I mean, the times now, this is ground floor. I keep saying it. This is a ground floor opportunity. Yeah, no, it, it's uh, it's really it, it, it's incredible here. Um, again, you know, you've delivered everything you've said. You know, again, you know, we've had probably 25 companies we've introduced uh, in the last, I don't know, let's say 12, 18 months or so. How many of those CEOs actually deliver on what they say or, or a high percentage of it, right? So, and you're basically every, I mean, you said that you would, you'd get there and you've gotten there. So if you're telling, I think the pattern is becoming clear. Anybody who doesn't see the pattern, I mean, every time you come on, there's, there's a new deal. The revenue, the, the picture is growing. The value is growing. And I think that at some point the stock now has to catch up because, you know, last February, the stock ran to four bucks. I mean, look. It might have gotten a little bit ahead of itself, you know, went from 30 cents to, you know, four, four, four dollars and change. And now, you know, now it's now the stock has to catch up to the news. The stock basically, in order for you to catch up to the fair value at this point, it's got to be a twelve dollar stock price. I mean, anybody who, who knows anything about esports can do the math. And the crazy thing is this is with what you have with this, it's a pure play in the esports space and picks and shovels. In other words, Anybody that wants to have exposure to the esports, any investor that wants exposure to, you know, this is the generational sector opportunity that is esports. It's ESC. So, and, and once again, we're partnering with tier one groups. Game addicts worked with groups like Roblox, Opera, World of Tanks. These are tier one groups, groups that are already heading into the metaverse, like Roblox. You know, they're generating 30 plus million uh, users monthly. So they're acquiring that type of volume, going after that type of user base. Um, this is massive for us. Uh, and it's the most exciting part about this deal is this is a marketing engine that's going to supersonic the rest of our assets. And that's what I'm super excited about. Let's get let's get into that. So so let's get into the details of you know, this, uh, the, the game addict business. Okay. What exactly do they do? What does game addict do? How do they generate this 24 million revenues, 5 million, <clears throat> nearly 5 million income? What do they do? So they specialize in a technology that allows them to acquire new users um, and typically new users for game publishers. So for example, let's say Roblox uh, is releasing their game and they want to acquire new users. Uh, they would hire game addict to go out and acquire those users. Why? Because as I said, in their database, they have over 30 million users monthly uh, in their database, uh, acquiring up to 300,000 roughly new users monthly. 
So you could see why somebody like Roblox or EA Sports or uh, well, Opera, is Roblox is a customer of Game App. Correct. Correct. And also EA, Electronic Arts. In in time, in time. Okay, um, but Roblox now. Roblox. Yes. Is, okay. Yes. And w what happens is these groups are eager to work with um, quality acquisition groups like Game Attic and bringing you quality game users you know it's not just about acquiring new users but acquiring quality users so game addict prides itself as being the number one group in the world for uh user acquisition for pcs okay so it, so it's really it, it's it's i, I don't want it's like a marketing ad tech marketing business and the beautiful thing i mean I can see, I mean, like, you know, it's interesting. Like you, you, you've been doing all these acquisitions and people wonder like, what's the common thread? Like, what are, what are the synergies? Now with this deal, this is like the keystone. This is the cornerstone, the key. I'm not sure what the right word is, but this marketing piece is really, I think what turbocharges the whole thing because it's the, syn the synergies you're going to get from this with uh, with digital motors. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Conrad, we, uh, we just lost, we just lost Conrad here. Okay. What happened? Okay uh okay let me continue on hopefully he's going to come back in a second but okay the, the um the conrad where can you hear me okay he's MYA for a second okay uh the bottom line is i'll just say this is the marketing business essentially is what's going to allow you to drive new users to, to the, the 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 motorsports oh where did it go okay hang on guys stand by stand by this is live, live, live uh, action. Here, let me just, let me just, let me just call. Let me just hang on a sec. Let me. Oh, there we go. Conrad. Yeah, apologies. We just had a little uh, electricity glitch there. You got, you got short I think, sellers. I, you got short <laughs> sellers. The, you know, cutting the wire. <laughs> Every, everybody got so excited. The whole thing blew up. I love it. <laughs> So, so I was saying the synergies, let's talk about the synergies. I mean, I was using my own spin, like you're, you're in the business. What are the synergies with, with uh, Game Attic? How does this business, how can this business just 10X your existing operations, not to mention the other stuff you're gonna be adding on top of it? Like, why is this so important? Having this marketing component, this 30 million, I mean, massive database here. Yeah, so imagine our group, right? And we have these strategic, uh, elements or group. Let's use digital motorsports, for example. They have a robust e-commerce platform. Guess what? What is an e-commerce platform name? They need new users. Uh, they need traffic. Well, we have 30 million a month of traffic. What do you think that's going to do to that platform? We have tournaments, events, rollouts for publishers. They're always asking, you know, can you acquire new users? How can we create a larger database? Well, now we have that internally uh, and it's at a tier one level and we're very confident that we could execute that at the highest level. And, you know, you're saying, can it 10X our internal, you know, growth? It absolutely can. That's what, that's how you scale. You scale via marketing, acquiring new users. Uh, and this group is, a, they specialize in that. They have their own technology. That's the hardest thing. This is the hardest thing. This is the hardest. And, and, they've, and, and guess what? You know, I'm going to give the guys a lot of credit here. They're world-class operators, world-class executives. They are former MIT grads. And, you know, they've created their own software, their own IP. They're in Montreal, they're, right? They're in, they're in Montreal. They're, they're from, yeah, they're from Montreal. But they've created their own software and IP. Uh, in order to execute this at the highest level, we got to get them on. We got to do. We got to bring them on with you. Maybe the next time we should have that because I, I think they, they could really go into all the details and. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think what, now what interesting thing you mentioned, which was kind of I don't know if people maybe missed it, but okay, one of the big things that these guys allow you to do is is acquire users, right? And of course. Acquiring new users is the biggest challenge, one of the biggest costs for the sports betting, eye gaming industry. I mean, you know, they're spending, you know, I think in, in some cases like a couple of thousand dollars to bring on a new user. That's I think DraftKings or somebody with somebody spending like huge per user. Money. Per yeah. user. 
per so user. So you're, you're wondering why there's 24 million of revenue. Do the math, right? 30 million users a month uh, and scaling fast, an additional 300K plus a month in growth. I mean, it's not thousands, it's millions. Contracts are in the millions. Contracts are in the 10, 50, 100K per month range. Uh, this is the type of opportunity it is. And you're absolutely right. And it's a great segue into what you said. Um, everyone's always been wondering, are you guys going to get into iGaming, into the gambling space? Well, guess what? This positions us perfectly for that segment uh, because now we have the capability to work with those large groups and provide real value to the groups like DraftKings, et cetera. Or, or even your own product. Or maybe not. I, I think maybe you want to kind of stick to the picks and shovels. I don't know. It seems like you want to stick to picks and shovels. We, it was like, we, yeah. we want to become experts at yeah. what we do uh, for publishers and for the and for all the gambling companies, too, if, if, if that's the direction you want to go into. You basically you support the back end of the whole esports business. In other words, if somebody wants to wants to invest in the esports space, there's there's two opportunities. One is they, they can buy the, the game, you know, publishers or whatever it is. Or uh, a player like ESE, which essentially enables and you know powers is the, is the the you know the the power plant behind behind the whole space. No, absolutely, and 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 that's, I mean, once again, that's the upside. You know, look what we've accomplished. Look at the strategy, how we positioned ourselves to execute. I mean, it's just it's unbelievable. I mean, the, I have to give credit to the team, uh, and just our whole. M&A team, our lawyers, legal directors, the vision is crystal clear. I put out the vision early, but it's reality now. Uh, it's not a vision. It's a reality. Okay. Uh, let, let's get to some audience questions. And, and and hopefully we'll have time to do that demo. We get it because the, the video that we were going to show last time. We're now we're oh, yeah, show. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so, I got it loaded up this time. Ready to go. Yeah, I know. It's ready. It's ready, actually. It's ready to go. It's locked and loaded here. Uh, Cole asking, can you talk about expected organic growth for Game Attic uh, and organic growth overall for ES? Because you know the big question is, okay, these guys are doing acquisitions. What about organic? How how much organic growth is there between this digital is, sports? Yeah. Between this guy, all of your stuff. This is a like a great question, Cole, because I always talk about the acquisition pipeline and how big it is. Our organic growth is just as big, uh, and they're executing at just a high level, right? So. Uh, we're seeing internally organic growth at a 30 to 50 percent clip, uh, which is very impressive on on a limited uh, additional capital injection. So huge growth internally and the overall group in Game Addict. This is the exciting part. Yes, we get to leverage their new technologies and their expertise. But guess what? They're going to leverage our internal assets and leverage our internal resources, and they're gonna scale as well. Uh, so it, it's a basically a perfect melting pot uh, where we're just gonna be using all our resources in one bundle and just you know, really accelerate this thing, really yeah, accelerate. You, you know, it's very interesting. It's, it's sort of like what you're doing with with ESC is really, it's very similar to now this, uh, nobody probably knows it. You know, it's what, what Barry Diller did with IAC Interactive, which became a massive multi-billion dollar company. You know, the guy started with a, a, a UHF television station, which did like, you know, inform, like, and then it was like, what is this guy doing? And then he added this, then he added that. All of a sudden they got like IAC in case anybody doesn't know. I mean, they're like massive, like massive internet company. Uh, the, they've made billions of dollars. The guy just built an island on off Manhattan, this little park island. So he made a, hundred, a couple hundred million dollars. He So he made that type of money. Uh, from this crazy thing. People didn't know what he was doing. And then all of a sudden the picture came into focus. I think now the picture is coming into focus. And I think in a couple of years, this thing, ESE could be so huge that you're going to donate an island. You're going to make an island park in Vancouver. <laughs> it's going to be called the Conrad Vasela Park. Uh, you know, it's going to be built up there. So, Every, right, everything's, so everything's possible. Absolutely. I mean, it is because look, you, you said you would do it. You've done, you're doing it. I mean, it's, it's, it's really an incredible thing. How often, how often does that happen in the micro cap space? I mean, I'm, you know, rarely. So, okay, uh, let's get into. Uh, let me see. We have any more questions? Uh, oh, you know what? Let's do before anybody gets into questions. I want to play the video here, uh, which is a little demo thing. I think we were going to show. Um, you know what's amazing? 
Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I think, you know, I just, by the way, I don't know why we never showed that digital motorsports. They're, um, you know, the, it is incredible. It's on YouTube. Yeah. The It's incredible. Let's, let's you should show that too. So my name is Connor Rosella, and I'm the CEO and founder of ESE Entertainment. Our company prides itself in being a 360 solution for the esports and gaming sector. Today, we're going to have a closer look at our production capabilities. Come join me. This is where the magic happens. The talent, the casters, the analysts, the motion. It all takes place right here. And guess what? There's more. Let's go. Welcome to the best esports and gaming studio in the world. This is where we host esports tournaments, leagues, and create world class content for publishers like EA Sports, Ubisoft, and Riot Games. Welcome to Frenzy Studios. Oh, now we missed the digital motorsports. I, I, I wanted to show that we got to show the digital yeah, motorsports. We can get that, that up cup, too. The, the we cup thing. Get that up there. too, yeah. One second. Hang on. Yeah, that, that is amazing because, like, you know, I, I never saw that before. It's like it, when people see this. Look at this. Here you okay, go. Here okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Getting into into boards, boards, still still going around the outside, Job leaves in the room. Is there enough? He keeps his nose in there. There's a little bit of contact around, around snow. snow. There's, there's this still is the cup, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the Digital the Motorsports hey, hey, World Cup. This is not this is this is this is not a real this is all this is not the not the real race. Race. This is one hundred percent produced by ESE top down from A to Z. The production and those are all the players. What we see on the top top left is all the players in this in the, in this tournament. Correct. The top guys, okay. The top guys, and you know what's exciting about this is we have the broadcasters, the production, even the skins on the cars. So the branding on the car is also done by ESC. Look at the excitement. I mean, this is reality, right? This is why people are so excited about the metaverse and the opportunities here because. This is now reality. And you quickly see the production capability. And, and this is all basically guys playing from home, whatever it is, the part of the digital motorsports. And so the digital motorsports, this acquisition you made. Oh, that's uh, that's what is it? That's not. Look at this. Look at the fireworks. Look at the studio. The production. P1 takes home. And they're live. There's players that are live in there in the studio. Global. It's all global. It's all global. Right? It's all global. So I think that gives you a great idea. Yeah, we got this, this is a bit of a. Of a oh, here, ooh, look at this. Oh, I think, I think there's a little bit of a delay in the. the okay. okay. Okay, this is. This is, this is, this is Take great stuff. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So, great, great. so they're great, doing great. basically. Uh, yeah, okay, so so basically, digital motorsports. Let's talk about. Give, give us a snapshot of exactly what they're doing, so people understand what that what they just saw on the screen. What is the deal there? Yeah, and and this is what got me so excited about acquiring digital motorsports because they also do A to Z, so they have a three hundred and sixty solution internally. So they put on their own events, uh, they create the whole idea, the production, they actually provide the hardware. So the actual simulators, the physical simulators, they on sell, the they sell the hardware, like, like, they, I, not exactly. like wheels, you know, Everything. the whole yeah. massive business. And, and they the, build the it. Race. Exactly. And they, and they build the cars, they build custom cars. So simulators, um, and it's just unbelievable. So now, this is a perfect example of when you take the existing digital motorsports and you combine it with ESC and our production capabilities, you get a world class event like I just showed you. And and that's where, like you said, the first one, that was the first one they did. Right. This is just like yeah, this. it's almost like the first Super Bowl, the first Super Bowl. People were like, you know, it was like an amateur hour. Right. And then all of a sudden it's like a massive multi-billion dollar business. Of course, now things happen much quicker. I think by next year. 
this is going to be like you have ads, banner, you know, sponsors, because you can put ads, sponsors all on the, all those screens, and it can be seen by millions of people, right? I mean, pe- you could, I mean, F one give for, for some for some context. How big is F one in terms of viewers dollars? It's in the billions, plural, right? Billions of dollars in advertising and sponsorship, hundreds of millions of users. They even have their own Netflix show that's also generating hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, it's it's. I mean, the, the racer, the, the the Hamilton guy makes eighty million a year. I think his is so. So if if a if a guy is making eighty million, that means there's big money in that sport. It's, it's tens of billions of dollars, right? The opportunity is absolutely tremendous. And we're at the forefront. We're the digital version. And like you said, how do you scale fast? How do you scale globally? You go digital. Uh, and there's a lot of rumblings about, you know, COVID and this. Well, guess what? We thrive during these times because more people are at home. And the digital, we're going to accelerate even faster. You know, the, the, the great thing, again, the, the sim racing, which is what this is, essentially. Okay, so Formula One, we know, is huge, right? It's, it's, it's a huge thing. It's a multi-billion dollar franchise, billions of dollars, right? Uh, sim racing, and you kind of talked about this before. I mean, this is the ne- this is for the new generation. Formula One is really like, you know, it's it's for guys who are like, you know, older than me almost, right? I mean, yeah. like old old people. Sim racing is for for the for gen for what is it Gen Z millennial because that's the new thing. And and, and it's w- when you have these these rigs that that uh, digital motorsports, it is just as real. I mean, the guy there's guys who are competing in sim racing. I mean, there is like. Uh, what do you call it? pro F1 drivers from competing this because it, it is just as real. But this and, and this is and the exciting, more yeah, but this is the exciting part. And this shows you once again reality of why it's gonna scale even faster. It's not just F1, it's NASCAR, it's rally car, it's Indy car, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you know what? They've already started. E NASCAR, sponsored by Coca-Cola and Logitech, that's already begun, right? The rally car program by the FIA, the International Federation of Automobiles, we're a part of that, right? These are massive, massive global rollouts happening digitally, uh, and we're in the forefront and we're in the mix of it all. Okay, so this, okay, so let's get to some audience questions here. Uh, Cole is asking, okay, what's going to be your cash position after this transaction, and will you need to raise capital? I guess he's asking, is there going to be a raise? Is there going to be dilution? Is there a raise coming up? You know, which I think people are worried about. Cole, take another look at the uh, news release and read it carefully. Once again, I always have the shareholders in mind. We position this deal uh, strategically so that we don't have to raise again. So no raise coming up? No. Okay, so... I think I think I, I, there's a rumor. I think there was a rumor circulating that that ESC was going to raise money. And, 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 you know, and you know what happens in Canada is anytime that people think you're going to raise money, you got these hedge funds, short sellers come in, they short the stock, and then they, they try to cover, they knock it down, and then they try to cover it through the, the offering. So that's not happening. That's off the table. I would recommend they also read the news release. It's not happening. Okay. Uh, so this is an opportunity for a short squeeze then, basically. I like can't... I said, anybody who knows the AMC and GME guys, let's get the apes on board and let's, let's start the squeeze. Okay. I mean, it's Elon, Elon, I mean... Elon, Elon loves squeezes too. Let's get him. He gets all the short show <laughs> online. We can get some revenue from that. Uh, when are financials coming out? Um, so For people who don't know this, our year end is actually October 31st. So our our year already ended. Um, So we have about 60 to 90 days to uh, present our financials publicly. So we're in the process of getting that done. Uh, But keep in mind, you know, it's not going to be included in these revenues won't be included uh, because obviously it's already uh, December 1st. So it's going to take another quarter to for those. Um, revenues to show uh, on the balance sheet so you guys could see and have full visibility of that. Uh, okay. You know, uh, by the way, Connor, I, I got to apologize because I, <laughs> I said, you know, I, I think I mentioned like off the cuff, I said, you know, I think the, I think if these guys change the name to something that's more like tech sounding, it would, the stock would be $5. And I think a lot of people <laughs> seem to be into it. Maybe, maybe I don't know. But it, are, are you open to changing the name? And Because if you had like some crazy, like, 
like this game addict is a great name. I mean, if you had a name like that, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, that's a good name. That's a good name. Digital Mo, those are good names. I mean, I love, no, I, the name. I, I love those names. Um, and like I said, comment below and, and start sending the names. We're open to it. So anything that's going to make the company better, I'm open to. Uh, no one in this company has an ego and we just want to put our best foot forward. And branding is very important to us. But, you know, some people like it too, right? So we got to take everyone's opinion. Are we going to five dollars before the end of the year in the next thirty days? You know what? I I I I, I wouldn't rule out. I mean, maybe for, I, you know it's possible because there's enough there. I think. Look, I think right now the stock is worth. I mean, if, look, look. I mean, if you if you're doing, you know, uh, let's call it let's call it sixty million, right? Forward looking, a little bit, right? Sixty million run rate times ten, six hundred million. You got a hundred million shares out now, right? Approximately. Yep. That's six bucks. So the stock, there's a legitimately the stock could be trading at six dollars right now. So, you know, it, it might be three dollars. You know, then you know in February. I mean, we've seen the stock run very quickly. I mean, it ran from thirty cents to four four and change, fifteen x. So, I mean, five dollars, I think, is you know. Now, I don't, if, if it happens by February, I don't really care. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, but, yeah, at some point, this could be, you know, 12 bucks. Uh, Meta Gaming. How do you like these names, Conrad? Meta Gaming, E3 6 diverse. I like you, it. You got some stuff. So I think what they should do is they should email you. We don't want to give away the com, you know competitive secrets. They should email you directly, right? And uh, you guys in, get in touch, right? Yeah. Digital. Yeah. Send it, send it to our IR team, and you know. What's your email, what, Connor? What's your email? Investors at esegaming. Hey, give me a personal email. Don't <laughs> give me a personal email. What is it? It's Conrad, right? K O N R E. Okay, cash flow uh, with positive cash flow from DM, that's Digital Motorsports and yep. Game Attic now, right? Is it possible to achieve positive? Ca- you know, is, is the company is ESC? When is ESC going to be profitable? When can you show positive earnings? When will you be able to show that? You know, we were always kind of consistent with the message that we would see break even or profitability in 2022. And I think with this game addict transaction, uh, that puts us in a position um, to execute on that. Uh, but you always have to remember we also want to grow and we want to scale. Um, so um, we're still in a hyper growth phase. I mean, like we said, we went from zero to 50, 60. We want to go from 50, 60 to 250. Um, and sometimes you have to, to really accelerate and reinvest into the company. So, uh, that's our growth. That's our growth strategy. And, you know, we're going to be doing a whole corporate update soon too, and highlight some of the things I have in store and, and I'm going to have consistent news. There's more and more news coming out all the time. Uh, so just stay tuned. Um, it, we're going to be super active. Uh, and I don't care if it's Christmas, New Year's, my birthday. The news is going to keep coming. We're going to keep delivering. We're a 365 days a year, 24-7 company. Uh, we're, we're not based on holidays or days off. So you're just going to consistently see news, 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 and just delivery and execution. Okay. So it's interesting. So now... You said you're going to get to 200. So 250 is the next milestone. So you're because you're already close. You're already close to your first goal, right? 100 is basically for this. So you're, you're almost there. You're probably going to be there. You know, you could be the one more deal. I mean, this is a 24 million dollar deal. Let's say all you need is like maybe one more decent acquisition plus organic, and that's 100 million. And yeah, you don't forget or, get, or don't forget organic. Yeah, that's so organic yeah, growth yeah. will surprise you when you when you start seeing the numbers come out. It's going to surprise you. Okay, so there's there's a hint. There's a hint there. Okay, so now the, for 2022, we're, we're kind of we're already in the new year. Let's, you know, it's it's what have you done lately for investment? Forget about <laughs> like the 60 million. That's la- okay. Two. What, let's talk about the next the new year, 2022. What's the game plan? We got a guy asking six months from now. Let's just say, what's the plan for 22? Can you get to 250 million 250 million revenues well i i I think the viewers have to wait for the corporate update because like i said we're gonna have some serious 
news in the corporate update and what we're doing, highlighting our internal organic growth. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be really, really sexy for investors. So you, you got to wait for that and, and I'll outline it. Okay. So bottom line is there's some exciting things coming up. Let me see if we have any more questions. We're going to, we're going to wrap up, uh, shortly. I mean, I want to get these guys from the uh, game attic on maybe, uh, next week or like in the yep. next, I want to get these guys on because there's going to be a lot of questions, I think, and maybe they can do demos or stuff. They can show like what they're doing exactly. Uh, and we should get also Niall on from digital motorsports. He can talk, you can maybe do a demo of the, the next tournament. I know that, you know, they're going to be doing more and more of these tournaments. Like, uh, and there's a lot of revenue potential between ads, sponsors. Uh, it's a huge business, huge business. They got the e-commerce side, which I think, from what I understand, uh, is 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 growing. It's doing got very price. well. Yeah, it's doing very well. Um, and and there's also some blue sky, which we'll probably talk about maybe in a, in a month or two, which is the blue sky of the gaming business. You know, as in sports betting, i gaming uh for for this game attic thing because this is like a really uh uh interesting interesting acquisition here um okay uh any more questions i think that's it uh camera it's okay so to wrap up uh what can we expect next uh forget about six months what can we expect next 30 days you know before the end of 20 2021 what kind of news flow like i said we're not stopping uh the second i get off here i mean you're going to see news. It's going to be consistent. It's going to be every week um, until I'm I'm in this seat. It's going to happen every week. And it's big news. I mean, I really think shareholders should go back, read this news re release again and realize we just doubled the company. OK. And then take another step back and read our last news, a multi-year deal with EA Sports, a multi-year deal with Riot and rolling out you know, their activations. These are 30, $50 billion companies we're signing multi-year deals with. And we just tagged on another, call it 20, 25 million of revenue. Um, it, th this is a ground floor opportunity right now. Excellent. Okay. Kind of right on that note. Uh, thank you. And I look forward to catching up with you and, and bring on one of these, uh, these uh, uh, you know, the, the, the guys in the other divisions uh, probably in a week or so. Yeah, it would be my pleasure, and I know you guys will enjoy it. Fantastic. Okay, thank you, everybody, for joining our live stream. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.